Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Overcrowd, a commute em up. This game, we will design, manage, and build our very own subway stations. They are connected. Uh, as you can see from the main screen, we have the tutorial. This is kind of the, the campaign, if you will, so you will build multiple stations that are connected together, and you can go in between them. Uh, as you move further on, you get more research, obviously, so you can go back and improve your first stations. Then we have sandbox mode, and then commute of the day, which is kind of the daily challenge. So let's go ahead and hop in and make ourselves a network sandbox. And for the name, we'll call it T and S stations. Seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and randomize our seed. That looks like a, a beautiful seed. Let's stay with that. Let's go ahead and make it a large map with terrain. We'll keep it on normal difficulty and we'll be able to lose. We won't do infinite money or anything like that. Procedure tree gated. Yep, yep, yep. That all looks good to me. Let's go ahead and click start and see what our map looks like. All right. Looks like we could start over here in Wrangler's Corner. Or we can start at the depot, West Rivermouth, or uh, Wrangler's Corner. Corner again. Well, I guess there's a uh, two Wranglers corner. Uh, let's go ahead and start at <laughs> this Wranglers corner over here. Uh, or maybe we won't. Looks like they got some anger. We want to try and find one that's really easy to start since we won't have a lot of the stuff researched. Um, looks like they all have a little bit of that. So um, okay, we'll go off our initial thought and start at this Wranglers corner. So let's go ahead and hop into that. So like I was saying, we will build and manage our own subway stations. The, the interesting is it's multiple levels. So you can have, obviously, these initial levels will be all on the, the main level or one level. But as we progress, as you can see, there's multiple tiers to the map. We could have a subway platform here and then maybe one all the way down here. There's these features, uh, kind of water features, if you will, of rocks that we can't build through these. So you have to kind of work your way around those. Subways lines come in through these, uh, the tunnels here, and people can come in and out through these street exits. So as you can see, we got two and two here. Uh, let's see if we have any other street exits. Nope, looks like they're both in this upper line. So let's go ahead and start, we'll start building off of the, probably this one. It has more people coming in and out uh, and we can attach the green line. Eventually we'll build our way across this way. So as you can see from this top bar, we have the time of the day, not running yet since we haven't started the station. The amount of money we have, so we start with 12,000. Uh, this bonds is kind of your research. So in here you can use your bonds you earn by completing these missions over here to unlock certain features. So you start off with one train car per uh, train and eventually you can get it all the way up to six. Um, yeah, staff only zones, foot bridges, go into facilities, you can get unlocked plants. You can unlock benches, lighting, utilities, like you can get this wheelie bin here where the trash can be taken out. Uh, what else do we got? PA system to make announcements to your passengers. Tools, which your employees or your staff will use to maintain the station. Commerce, earn a little bit of money so you can sell newspapers. Amenities, this is for the staff room so they can, um, you know, they need water, they need food, somewhere to rest, things like that. Down here on the, the lower left is the building button, so we can edit our floor, uh, we can bring it up and down infrastructure. So things like the entrance, which eventually, well, I guess we'll need to put in floor first. Let's go ahead and put some floor in here. Do that, perfect. So infrastructure, like the entrance here, it's actually pretty cool, kind of this brick thing. So there we go, we got our entrance built and we'll expand on that. Uh, and then just different, different things you can use to make your station great. Down here on the lower right, we can sell objects, so this is kind of the delete function. We can buy staff, you can put them on different shifts, give them different priorities, scheduling, um, you know, empty bends at 50%, different thresholds. And then uniforms is kind of more of an aesthetic thing. Uh, and then in the upper right here, we have our to-do list, our missions, if you will. Uh, so build one platform gets us $1,000, build an entrance and hit the football target for that gets us another thousand. Keep station reputation above zero. Uh, those are, you know, if we, we go below zero, we lose the mission. Here we have different uh, overlays, so you can see how hot it is, uh, how dark it is, if there's enough seating, how clean it is, 
how overcrowded it is, likelihood, or this is thermal. Um, and we can oops, we'll leave that on. So yeah, just a bunch of different overlays you can use and explore and things like that. And we'll leave that to-do list open. All right, so let's jump in and get this station going. So I think the plan will be, let's go ahead and do something like this. Uh, yeah, that's plenty big there. Okay, so we will build, actually let's go ahead and extend this all the way over there. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and start by putting our station platform in. Oops, where it was already rotated the correct way. Track uh, collide with existing core structures. Probably because this room is here, so we need to go ahead and sell this off. Get us a little bit more money, there we go. All right, so let's go back to the platform. There we go, and we'll put our platform there. And then we have to select which way people can get on. So right now they can only get on the right side of the platform. This is both sides, this is the left side. Obviously we want our people to get on that side of the platform because that's where our gate is at. Now I'm thinking we want to probably build, thinking we might build some of our rooms along here and then expand this this way, which will allow us to kind of put our turnstiles here. So let's go to facil or do, do, do infrastructure. Here it is. So the tool room will be the first room we build. And this is where our employees will grab their tools. So we'll drop that. I guess we can't drop that there. There we go. We'll drop that there. And we'll put the door right here. And then the utility room will be where our electricity and our trash cans are. And we will have that door there as well. Fantastic. And then we will go ahead and put our turnstiles in. So let's rotate this. So I need to expand a little bit that way. So we'll put one turnstile here. Let's go back to our floor editor. And we'll expand. You know what? Mm, maybe we won't do it this way. I don't like that. Let's go ahead and sell what we got. Uh, sell that, sell that, sell that. Let's try this again. Let's do our tool room over on this side. So if we ever had to expand the tool room, if we put it here, we'll be kind of boxed in. This way we can expand uh, going that way to the, the upper corner of the map. So let's just start with a nice little three by three. Drop that there. Utility room, boop, boop, boop. Drop that there, fantastic. So then we're gonna go ahead and put in, start with some generators. One, two, three, four. Five, five generators and then a fuel can perfect and then in the tool room we don't have any tools unlocked so let's go to our bonds tools and we'll unlock the jerry can our employees will use that to refill the uh, generators and then the litter picker so they can pick up trash all right and then we'll go to tools now let's go ahead and put our tools in the tool room all right litter picker and jerry can Fantastic. All right, so now we need to decide, and we might sell. Let's go ahead and sell something like this. Yeah, let's sell that wall. So that way we can keep our platform and kind of this entrance hall separate. So people come in through this gate, come down this way, and then I think what we'll do is, because we don't have any, we can go ahead and put a trash bin right here. And we can put a trash bin right there. We'll put our ticket machine. I'll we'll rotate this. Here we go. Let's put our ticket machine here. And then we will put our gates, our turnstiles. We'll put one right here and then one right here. So then now we need to change these so they're facing the correct direction. So we'll have this first one going into the platform. And then the second one as the exit. All right, so now we can open our station. We have the basic functions uh, available to us. In and out gate, power, tools when we eventually hire an employee in the platform itself. So let's go ahead and open the gate. And there we go. Our station is open and ready to go. We uh, earned ourselves, uh, we built the minimum platform, so we completed that. And we opened the station to the public, so we earned two grand. People will start to flow in. They'll buy their ticket and then they'll go through the gate and this uh, red box that's filling up here will be our signal to bring the train in. So when this goes green, we can click it here in a couple seconds and the, the one single carriage car will roll in. 
So let's see here. It's green. And here comes the train. And four, as you can see right now, it only carries four people. So four people will get off. And then four people will hop onto the train. So there we go. Do do do. Four people off. Four people on. And away it goes. And the ominous rain starts to come down. We earned ourselves six bonds. So let's go ahead and go to facilities and we're going to get lighting because people are getting gloomy because it's pretty dark in there and we're also going to get the uncomfortable bench so they can sit down on that so let's go to facilities here and we will get the uncomfortable bench oops all right close out that there we go bring in the next train so let's get the uncomfortable bench in so people can seat down and we'll put a couple there like that and let's go ahead and put some lighting in so they're not as gloomy. And uh, right here looks good. Put one there. And we'll put one here. And then we'll put one right at the entrance. So nice and well lit. And you kind of see the floor tiles change color too. So that's nice. And let's go ahead and put an uncomfortable bench. We'll put some benches. Oops, I didn't switch over to the bench. Let's put a bench or two here. So people that are waiting for their tickets can sit there and we'll bring this next train in here it comes Ooh, we're at nine bonds let's go to infrastructure scroll on up here we're gonna get two train cars so we can move more people in and out and let's go to commerce and we're gonna go ahead and purchase the newsstand so we can make some sales and newspapers that will also entertain our people that are coming in and we'll also go ahead and buy the newspaper ad just something we can put on the walls as decoration but it also earns us a little bit of money all right so we will go to newspaper ad and let's put one right. Uh, we'll put one right here. And then we will put a newspaper stand. We'll spin that, put that right there. So now our people can make some newspaper purchases. Looks like that guy glitched behind it. That's okay. Uh, no level one plant, no level one plant. Got some complaints. It's all right. Let's go ahead and hire our first staff member. We got Isla Morgan and Logan Watson. And we'll go with Isla. Let's go ahead and hire her. And we're going to give her, let's go ahead and pause the game for a second. We're going to give her the trash picker. And so she can empty these trash cans. We're also going to have to unlock, and this will be under, I think, utilities, right? Where is it at? Yep. So we need the wheelie bin so she can deliver our trash to that, which also means we're going to have to expand this a little bit, but that's okay. So let's go floor editor and expand this just a little bit perfect and we're gonna go to the where's the infrastructure utility room now, i think we should be able to expand this yes perfect all right and then into facilities and or excuse me utilities and we'll put our wheelie bin there so let's go ahead and turn this back on yep concourse bin is full so we just did that so she can go ahead and start yep she's emptying that trash can there and she'll take it to the wheelie bin and there it goes. All right, fantastic. Next train's ready to roll in. So this one should have, that still only has one car. So we might have to expand this platform so we can get more train cars in. So let's go ahead and expand that platform. What we'll have to do actually is wait for nighttime uh, when the station closes so we can expand the platform and not have any issues. Uh, looks like our ticket machine's starting to wear down. So we'll need to purchase the toolkit go ahead and buy that beautiful all right bring our next train in oh we still got two more hours to go or three more hours so people are going to be pretty unhappy with us with us as they wait for their train but that's okay so let's go ahead and put the uh toolkit down put that there and we'll grab morgan here and give them the toolkit so they can make some repairs as needed all right this dude is still stuck behind there that's okay repairing that so that's up and ready to go a lot of things can break down the train can break down the ticket station can break down turnstiles can break down so it's just all things you got to manage down in the comments below let me know if you've played overcrowded at all what you like about it what you don't like about it i certainly enjoy it it's a fun little game it's um interesting the you know makes you think makes you make sure you're doing things correctly you know we're in the first level and we already got people saying we don't got plants. Oops, there, the night went off. So Morgan will continue to clean up some of this trash while they do that. Let's go ahead and we're gonna sell the platform. Yes, go ahead and sell that. So we get our money back and that will allow us to expand 
and let's just expand this way. And we'll go one more tile, there we go. So now we can go back to infrastructure, go to the platform. And so now this will be, uh, this will allow us to have up to three carriages. So we'll drop that there. And let's go ahead and switch this the appropriate way, perfect. All right, so this will now allow us to have the maximum number of carriages and we got 18 bonds to spend. Let's go ahead and we'll get the last of the tools. So the watering can and the megaphone. So we can build that all the way. We also need to go ahead and unlock all this for our employees. So we'll get the water cooler, the uncomfortable chair and the vending machine. Oops, there we go. And commerce, I think we've unlocked everything. Yep. Tools, we've unlocked everything. Yep. All right, utilities, we can get a capacitor, which is a battery. We could get the signal relay, um, which allows us to call in trains by hitting the F key, so we don't have to go right to the platform. We can get to the, we can get the fan, which cools off people. We can get the PA, which kind of moves people in the right direction. The alarm, um, so like if, in later levels, if there's crime or fire or something like that, we can trigger the alarm and it'll scare people away. Facility, let's go ahead and unlock the plant. Uh, we got all that infrastructure. Staff only zone, footbridge. Let's go ahead and unlock the footbridge. So we could expand to this other side if we wanted. And eventually we will. So we need to go ahead and put down a couple things. Let's expand the floor here. And we're gonna put our staff room right here. Are we though? No, let's go ahead, actually let's sell the floor there. And we'll put our staff room right here. So let's go to infrastructure staff room and we're going to put a little staff room right here a little what was that a three by four staff room and we'll uh we'll put the door right there and then we're going to go to amenities oops and we'll build them a water cooler so they can get something to drink a vending machine vending machine so they can get something to eat and then we'll put two chairs so they can rest there fantastic Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the megaphone in. Let's rotate that like that. And we'll put the watering can in as well. So now we have all the tools down. Utility-wise, we're in pretty good shape still. Uh, facilities, let's go ahead and put in some lighting. Click on that, and we'll put a light here. Make sure this is all nice and well lit. And we'll put one here, keep that well lit as well. There we go, got rid of the gloominess. Let's go ahead and put a plant in, keep people happy. And we'll put a plant in here. Let's go ahead and put a trash bin next to, oops, didn't change that. Put the trash bin right there, perfect. And we'll put some more benches down on this side. One, two, we'll skip one, one, two. Uh, let's put a plant here, and then we'll put a newspaper stand right there. There we go. All right. Our station is coming along very nice. Very nice indeed. All right. So let's go ahead and open things back up. So we got Morgan doing repairs and trash. Uh, configuring. Oh, we got to adjust this. That's right. Um, so platform and exit. There we go. All right. So now we're back to that. Let's go ahead and hire one more worker applicant. Uh, let's go ahead and get Logan on board here. Logan, I'm going to give you the jerry can so you can refill. And I'm also going to give you the watering can so you can maintain our plants. All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward through the night because we're in pretty good shape. We expanded our platform quite well. Uh, and let's go ahead and fast, there we go, fast forward through the night. All right, so second day and our train's ready to roll in. And there we go, we already got eight people because we have the two two cars now instead of just the single car now can we hire do we want to hire someone else let's see here uh no new applicants yet all right so i don't think we can hire anyone until we go to the next station so that's okay uh let's make sure we have these guys appropriately um staffed uh so that they're doing their their best job all right so i want to select morgan and I just want to see, or actually, let's go ahead and mess with the thresholds. Uh, at night, I want the threshold to be 0% for the trash can, so every trash can gets emptied. We want to make sure we're refueling everything, uh, watering our plants, and repairing machinery. 
up to their maximum. Um, during the night, again, we want everyone to take their breaks. So we'll set this all at 10. Let's go back out, bring in our next train. There we go. And thresholds back to the bottom. All right, put this down at 10, this down at 10, and this down at 10. So they should rest and fix everything as much as they can. There you go, Watson is uh, was watering that plant. Oh, it looks like we completed the mission. Only two stars, um, but that's okay because we need to eventually get over to this other track over here, open this gate up there. Um, so yeah, we got more to do and we'll eventually come back and flesh this out as we get to other stations, get some more staff, which will ex allow us to expand. So the next station we go to, we'll open up new researches. We already got 11 bonds, so we'll be able to research a bunch of stuff and then either build that next station if we want, or we can come back here and continue to expand this. If you've enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below on what you think of Overcrowd, a commute em up. It's a fun little uh, building management game, build your own little subway empire. And if you really don't mind, please subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you in the next Commute em Up video.